Hey everybody, it's Paul with CDA. Gonna go ahead and get started with our demo. And this is for the scheduler dashboard. And so what we're gonna do for this demo is we're gonna break it down into three parts. The first part, we're gonna talk about just the left side or the left quadrant. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a second video, which will talk about all the options that are available to you via right click on a claim. And then what we're gonna do, we'll have a third video that talks about all the options that are available to you on the right side of the scheduler dashboard. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is right up here, typical information where you can just toggle your days or show you the date or do today. And then of course we have the full date up there for you. The next thing we do is we allow you to filter within this area by groups. Now you create the groups as many as you want for your company. For our demo, we have what's called in-house appliance, electronics and or TVs, deliveries, etc. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and show appliances. And so this is all the jobs that are on the schedule for today that are classified as appliance. The next thing we're going to do is say, hey, show me my TV jobs that I'm going to be running. And so we show you all the TV jobs. So you go ahead, you can create the groups and then you filter the groups as you see fit. And so that's how that works right here. The next thing I want to show you is availability. What availability is, it's availability to a zip code. So let's just go ahead and click on it. And we're going to say, hey, what's the availability for this zip code? Can you tell me, can I run this job in this zip code and when? And we'll say, show me 14 days or 21 or 28. For our demo, we're just going to say 14. And so we're just going to say, hey, show me what availability there is. And so what you'll notice is that all of these days have availability on your schedule for these groups and for these territories and or zones. And we'll get that get into that a little bit later. And then what we would do is it says down here, double click to select a date. So normally what would happen is the CSR agent could put in a zip code and say one second while I see if you have available. Uh, agent will say, OK, I do have availability. And then what they'll do, they'll make sure they have the right group. They'll double click here for appliance and then they'll get the customer on the schedule. For our demo, we just want to show you this is how you check availability for zip codes. So let's go ahead and move on. The next thing we want to show you are show zones. And so what this does really is show me in my zones or my tech territories. So here I have all of the appliance jobs. Then for the appliance groups or jobs, I have all these territories. Now tell me how many slots do I have available for each time area? So I have AM, midday, evening, or all day. Now for our demo, we have lots of availability just because we want to show you how it works. So we say I have availability, I have three slots in the AM, midday, evening, and then all day. Then you'll notice here, these are zeroed out. So midday is full. So if the customer calls in, wants to get on the schedule, you know you have one available for the AM, you have three for the evening, and you have one as an all day. And then you just explain to them, sorry, there's no middays. Here, we're at a minus, so that means you're overbooked, which means your CSRs are more than likely going to get a phone call saying, hey, where's my technician? Then down here, you'll notice we're, again, overbooked by three for the AM, so certainly your customer service department is going to get phone calls at around 11, 12, saying, hey, where's my tech? Where's my tech? And so that's what this is available. This is what this is available for and why we show this to you. What I want to do though is I just want to go up here and I'm going to toggle the days. And now notice how we show you that update in real time. So this information um, is real time showing you. Show me how many slots I have for each of my territories in each of my groups. And that's how you do that. Next thing I want to show you is how you can filter by technician. So all you do is you come down here, say show me all the Dan calls. There's all the Dan calls. Show me all the Alfred calls. And there's all the Alfred calls. And so that's how you filter by tech. Then the next thing you can say is you can say, hey, show me all the jobs that we've completed so far today. So you just come to completed. 
And so far we've completed one job for the day out of our, I think it was like 33 or 36 jobs. Also show me all jobs. So we have 33 jobs and these are the status. You can say, show me all that have arrived. And we have one that arrived, or you can say, show me pending. And there's all the pending. And again, the count changes down here as well. Let's go back to all. So next thing I want to show you is how to find an address um, just on the map. So let's just randomly pick an address that I have on my clipboard. And we're going to go ahead, put in the zip code. And what we're going to tell CDA is we're going to say, hey, CDA, show me this address. And what this is used for is we want to make sure it's within an area that we know we cover visually. And so we go, oh, okay, yes, of course we work within this area. So we're just showing you in real time where that address is. Next thing I want to show you is let's say we want to find a customer. So we'll just start typing in and there we go. Peterson, even though it's misspelled, it still found it. So it highlights it and then it shows it over here as well. And of course we know that it's running with the technician called Dan. Next thing I want to show you is how to find it by claim. And what we're going to do is we're going to clear this out. We're going to say, show me the claim. And so there it is highlighted and there it is highlighted. So that's how you can find a claim as well. Next thing I want to go over is I just want to go over these columns and read them out to you and explain to you what they do. So here's the tech. Again, you can use initials. In this case, there's a lot of initials being used, or you can use the full name. We have the zone. Now again, the zone would be the route and or the territory that a technician covers. So here we have uh, Hartford with our tech. And then you'll also notice we have color coding going on. So each tech gets their own color code because when we go over here, we can visually know, oh, red is always Dan, deep purple is always Gerald, orange is always Matthew, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why we have these color coded. Now, again, we're going to go into the groups. So this is saying he's doing all appliance jobs. You'll see there's a little bit of a mix here where they're doing appliance and electronics. This is the job, the job number. So he's going to run this call first then this call, then that call. Again, same sequence is going to happen. The next is going to be the number of slots. So you'll see here, this job is going to take up four slots, or most of them are going to take up one. If you want to change the slot, you'll just double click and we'll show that in the next video. This is going to be the time of day and or the time band. You can see the logic here, AM midday. You set that up for your organization. And then next is going to be parts install. So anything with an X means, hey, you're going to be installing a part. Also, you'll notice that this is red. We come down to our legend. It says, hey, you're going to run this call, but you don't have the parts. So someone's going to have to make a decision is, do we want to run this call or not? And that's why we red flag that. Then we have confirmed. So a lot of companies only want to run confirmed calls. That's how you do that. And confirmed is up here. We'll go down to the next video, or you can right click and set up confirm. We have the customer's name. We have the claim number. We have the sub status. We have when the tech arrived, when the tech departed. Again, this all comes real time from the field. And then what label or what status is this particular job set up? And so that is uh, completed or pending as we saw uh, earlier as I was speaking. Now let's go ahead and look. So we see we have 33 jobs and it's taking up 36 slots. And again, we're in blue and anything that is in blue in this column means it's taking up more than one slot. Here's our legend. So this is red over here means you have a part install. Yellow means you're running a call as a second man. Again, we'll show you that when we do the right click in our next video. And then we have here's priority of a job. So it could be a COD priority, LG, Samsung, whatever you deem to be a priority. Uh, this is how you set up the priorities for a claim. And this color will also show up for the tech as well so that they'll know that the 
mobile side that the claim is a priority as well. Refresh just refreshes all the data. Send notifications. So what that does, I'm going to go ahead and show you a split screen right over here. What happens is right now we have 33 jobs. If your route manager said send notification, what would happen is text messages would go to all three customers. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. So they get a text with the pertinent information. They'll get a text with the do's and don'ts or how to best prepare for the text arrival. And you'll see the picture shows a TV uh, still mounted is red, TV unmounted is green, stacked unit is red. If it's unstacked, it is green. Again, you set up the pictorial message that you want for your customers, how to best prepare for the technician's arrival. And then we have the freezer as well. The next thing we do is we show you a picture of the technician's badge and it has some pertinent information as well. And it shows the picture that way the customer can make sure the person knocking on the door is indeed the person that they're going to let in from the um, picture of the badge. And so that is what we do. And that is what happens when your route manager clicks send notification. Now, if he doesn't want to send all 33, wants to do it by tech, just comes up here in the tech area, goes to down and then just says send notifications. And now it's by tech by tech basis. So there's two ways to do the send notification. There's the global and or you can select it by individual text. The last two are more legacy and that has to do with our V9 users where they wanted to know notification results and for the tech route, just show it to you real quick. And this is again for our V9 users that we're still wanting to see some type of paper for their technicians. So this is going to go ahead and conclude the first part of three parts. The next part that we're going to talk about is when you right click on a claim, you have quite a few, um, quite a few options available to you. And so I'll go ahead and explain that to you.